Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have another Shop Miss A haul. I have done another one of these videos before here on my channel. So if you guys did not see the first one I will go ahead and link it down below in the description bar. But basically everything that I'm about to show you is all $1. Shop Miss A is a um, website that sells a whole bunch of dollar items from makeup, from beauty, even underwear, and just miscellaneous things like that. I can't wait to show you guys what I got in today's haul. So if you guys want to see what I picked up, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I got were these little hair elastics. They are just black and I got these so that I could do my daughter's hair. I like to do braids on her and ponytails and stuff so these are perfect for the hairstyles that I like to the do. The next on. thing that I got are these brow groomers. Um, they are basically to groom your brow and the other side is like a scissor part and you basically just brush your brows up and then groom them. I actually got this because I'm planning on filming my updated brow routine so that will be coming soon. Then I got this really cute case for my sunglasses. One of my more cheapy sunglasses um, don't have like a case that came with them like my ones from Forever 21 but I still want to keep them protected and stuff so I just figured on the days that I wanted to wear those and just throw them in my purse I would just put them in this really nice case it's like a drawstring case so it does close at the top like this and then of course it just says sunnies on it then I got two pairs of these little socks these are my favorite types of socks when I wear tennis shoes or my vans or anything like that um, especially when I wear my Nikes they just really just basically form fit the bottom of your foot and I just really like them I got two pairs of those and they are in the color black I also got these little sticker sheets. It has a whole bunch of presents on them and bows. I just thought these were really cute. I wanted to get these for a planner just so that I can mark when people's birthdays are and stuff like that so that I won't forget. And then I got tons of masks. I love Shop Miss A masks or the masks that they sell on there. I have tons of them. So I picked up um, some repurchases that I bought off there and also some new ones to try. So the first one that I got, which is new, I've never tried it before, is this charcoal mask. But I'm really excited to use this because I know that charcoal gets rid of all your blackheads and stuff like that. This one is a repurchase. This is the Milk Face Mask and it is from Cream or by the brand The Cream Shop and I absolutely love this. After I used it, it made my skin feel really like silky and smooth and just felt really, really refreshing brushed and nice so I picked that up. I also got this Revitaling Collagen one. Um, I'm pretty sure I had this one or another collagen one similar to this and I really really liked it. I also got this tea tree one to try out. Tea tree is really really good for your skin and also if you have any blemishes or any red spots on your face. Then I got a aloe vera face mask. You know aloe vera helps with dry patches or like itches or anything like that. It helps also heal sun damage it says on here. So I got that. It's also from the cream shop. And then I got this snail uh, lifting and moisturizer face mask. I've never tried this face mask before, but the reason why I got it was because Koreans, um, I am part Korean, they use a lot of snail products and Koreans, not me personally, but um, a lot of Korean skincare is very popular and if you've ever seen somebody who is Korean, they have great amazing skin. So I thought that I would go ahead and try that. I got a cooling cucumber one, another collagen face mask, and another collagen face mask. They're just by different brands. Next, I got this blush right here. I've never tried this blush or any blush from that matter from the Shop Miss A. So um, I saw it on the website and it looked really pretty. It comes with this little um, sponge that I won't use. It just has this black packaging and a mirror, of course, and this is what the blush looks like. It's a really pretty rosy blush, and it is shimmery. So go ahead and swatch this for you guys. So surprisingly, it is very pigmented. It's a really nice blush of pink. Perfect um, for me because I love colors like this. I also got a blender sponge. Um, this is just a black blender sponge. I want to do a comparison on this one compared to my beauty blender because this one's only a dollar and the beauty blender is obviously $20. So hopefully this is a good comparison because it's only a dollar and um, it would be perfect. This is also a supposed to be a high def sponge and it also is latex free. I'm not really sure if the beauty blender is latex free but this one is so... Yeah, got that. And then I got this nail bud, it's what it's called. I'll go ahead and open it to show you guys, but I saw this all over the internet and I thought it was just perfect. 
you basically wear this on your two fingers like this and you can stick your nail polish in here so when you're painting your nails like and you don't have anywhere to set it um, it's not that I don't have anywhere to set my nail polish when I paint them but sometimes my son will like try to come up on me and like like take it from me I thought this would be great just to have that so I could just stick it there and it's more convenient for me to paint my nails I did pick up a couple pairs of lashes um, they have a whole bunch of lashes on there so the first pair I got are from car lashes these are supposedly 100% human hair which I don't think they are but they're in the shade black and obviously and they are in the number 48 they're these really pretty wispy ones. They do look like really good quality. These next ones are in the number number 79 and they're just really thick black ones. Very, very voluminous. And these next ones are in the number 747 and these are also Cara lashes. And they're just really natural wispies. Next, I picked up two chargers. I actually did just recently get the new iPhone 7 so I won't be using these um, because I got a new charger. My other phone was already messed up anyway so I didn't really care to use other chargers because I know a lot of people say that when you use other chargers besides the Apple ones that it kind of messes up your phone. So I'll just have these as backup just in case I absolutely need a charger for my phone and I don't have one. But I just picked up two of these and they are just the charger part, the USB cables. They're not the actual plug. I got two brushes from the AOA Studio line. The first one is this E114 brush and I got this for my brows. It looked really, really nice on the website and it actually feels really, really nice and stiff. And not what I really look for in my eyebrow brushes is that the bristles are really tightly packed together and that it is stiff to give me that perfect line I also can use this for concealer as well if I wanted to I also got this one which is for concealer I believe and this is the e122 I also got it to pack on glitters these brushes are super soft and they're only a dollar all of this stuff that I've showed you by the way is all been a dollar um, I don't think I ordered this this is from clean color it's just a two pack of clear adhesive I think they just gave me this because I bought lashes it was like a little free gift or something Something like that. I got a pedicure brush for your feet, but I actually got this to clean my nails. I have my nails on now, but sometimes I always get stuff stuck underneath my nails and it's like gross. So I got this brush so that I can go ahead and clean underneath them. And lastly, I have this little package bag right here. I could have sworn I ordered more of these, but these are just little underwears I got for when it's my time of the month. I obviously don't want to ruin any of my nice Victoria's Secret ones, and these were only a dollar, so I went ahead and picked those up. And then I got these two little sticky pad things. So basically what they are is they are this silicone sticky pad. And you basically can put it in your car and it's supposed to like hold your phone up there. Um, my phone's over there charging so I can't test it out. You just stick them on. I got one for me, one for my husband. You just prop your phone up in case, you know, you didn't want to buy like one of those stands that are like 30 bucks for your phone. So. I picked up one of the glitter liners. It's this really, really pretty like multicolored glitter. So beautiful. I actually swatched it earlier right here. You can't really tell, but this glitter is literally so gorgeous. And it looks like you can apply a few layers to build it up. But I will be picking up some more colors because it's absolutely gorgeous and I definitely recommend getting it. I did get a eyeliner from Santee. This is in waterproof. This is just in the shade black. I always like to try new liners. Then I saw this and I got really intrigued by it. This is the Clean Color Vibrant Duo Eyeliner. And I actually didn't even know it was duo. So it's basically a pencil liner and a liquid liner at the same time. But... I honestly just got it because it was a gold liner and I've I don't even think I have a gold liner but the brush just looks like this it's a, like a yellow not really a gold and this is what it is right here it's super bright and pretty I definitely want to get more but all of them was sold out and then it also comes with a yellow pencil so this is gonna be great for like really colorful looks I'm starting to get more into color which is great because you guys know I'm like neutrals and mauves and stuff like that I don't really do color so great to get me out of my comfort zone and then lastly of course I have a whole bunch of liquid lipsticks you guys know I cannot ever buy anywhere and not get liquid lipsticks and then I also got this bronzer so really quickly let me go ahead and show you this This was sold out the last time so I definitely was excited to pick it up when I saw that it was available this is the clean color tanned raw shimmer bronzer and it just looks like this so so pretty and this kind of reminds me of my Mac bronzer in otherworldly 
that's what it is right there you can't really see it because my lighting washes it out this first one is from clean color and it's from their madly matte lip gloss now these do say lip gloss on the site but they are liquid lipsticks i don't know what it is with like lipsticks saying that they're lip glosses but they actually dry matte so from clean color from the madly collection in the shade um 1640 looks like this it looks so much more darker on camera really nice color that bottom one right there and these don't really smell that bad they kind of smell like fake tan this next one might be a little bit light but this is actually from santee and this is the long lasting matte liquid lipstick so this actually does say liquid lipstick on it. This is in the number 15. It just looks like this. Kind of like the same thing as that one, just a different logo. And the wand is differently. Ooh, and these smell fruity. That one right there, a little bit pinky, a little bit too light for me, but you know, you can always mix them. This next one is also from Santee. This is in the shade 13. It is very, very light. I'm so sad when I buy these and they're so light because I know I'll never wear them. This next one is from Clean Color in the shade 1646. Oh, there's that one right there. And the last one is a Madly Matte Clean Color in 1647. This one is definitely a nude. There's that one right there. So yeah, I think that's everything I have to say for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah. I like to make money get turned. I like to make money.